Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be creating a stylized cobblestone texture here in Substance Designer and I'm going to use the Arc uh, Pavement node for this uh, because it's pretty much the easiest way to create uh, pretty much an arc uh, type ground texture so I'm going to be using that and uh, I'm just going to be changing a few of the settings and also using a Polygon 2 node just to get my own uh, block there instead of using one of the default ones another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some variation to this polygon 2 by using a flat fill and I'm going to merge a few of these uh, random gradients uh, together so that I can get more uh, just more edge wear and it's not just a, a regular flat uh, block here So I'm going to be combining a few of these. And then I'm just going to randomize some of the settings on the Arc Pavement node. And like I said, I just want to merge a few of these so that there's a little bit more variation on them. I also want some of the blocks to be a little bit dark to come out more than others. And I'm also going to add a warp just so that there's more, so they're less uniform and there's just a little bit more variation to the edges as well. And one of my favorite nodes is the slow blur node. Uh, it's really good for adding, adding noise on top of the texture. Uh, you do have to be careful so that it doesn't become too obvious that you're using this node or that the texture just looks too uniform. I usually combine it with the original and set it to a really low opacity so that it's not super strong, it's not too obvious. And I'm also going to add a warp to the main block itself as well, just to add a little bit more variation to that as well. I'm also going to enable my height so I can see uh, what this is going to look like with some uh, displacement on it. And I'm going to start to get a little bit of the color map. It's going to be a relatively gray type of color for that. And I'm also going to use a slow blur on that so that I get more color variation on it so that there's a little bit more noise and with more noise you can also add more colors to the actual color map so I can start to add a few more different colors to this and then I want to add some uh, grass or it's kind of like plants uh, in between the, the bricks and for that I'm going to use the waveform uh, if anyone has seen any of my previous videos I've always used this node to create things like grass uh, plants and any of that uh, this node is usually the best one to use for stuff like that I'm also going to use a splatter circular just to get a shape or almost like a flower type thing going here And this is what I'm going to scatter across the bricks, kind of in between the bricks. And obviously I'm going to use a tile sampler to get all of that um, scattered across. And I'm going to add two nodes to this, so the main leaf and then the uh, one that has the scattered circular pattern. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, mask it so that they only show up close to the uh, the cracks or where the blocks meet. And I'm going to blend those two using the height blend. 
and this is kind of what it's looking like it looks i think it looks cool it's always good to maybe just randomize a little bit of the of how many of these come out obviously i'm going to use a gradient map on the curvature smooth just to get the colors a mask it using the um, height map uh, mask And here I'm going to use a gradient map on the slow blur just to add more colors to the different noise. And I'm going to merge that with the blocks. Like I said, this is just to add just a little bit more color variation. And I'm going to set it to really low opacity on top of the original. I also wanted to test creating, having some of the blocks be darker than others. I think it started to, starting to look like uh, big lighting, so I later decided to just remove this node instead of keeping it. It's just starting to look like too much like big lighting in this case. So I decided to just delete that. So it was good to just, uh, to just experiment a little bit. And one thing I decided to do is I wanted some of the pieces, some of the uh, flowers, I guess, to look, um, to have a different color than all the other ones. So I used a separate uh, tile sampler for that. Uh, and I'm using that as a mask while blending the two as well. And this way I can change the color of some of the, um, some of the flowers, I guess, if you can call them that. I also decided to change the color to look more like a fantasy um, grass. It's kind of like a blue, more, more like an alien looking um, vegetation in between the blocks. I do think that uh, looking at it now, it looks like it's just a little bit too saturated. So I will probably reduce the saturation on that a little bit. And then the last thing I like to do is usually, um, well, before that, I'm going to use a, I'm going to connect it to the height map, but I do want to reduce the intensity of the, of the plants so that with the height map, they don't come out too much. And then I usually like to use the curvature smooth uh, and reverse it and use that for my uh, roughness map it's not the best way to go about it but i think it usually works for the most part uh, especially if you mix it with uh with different noises or with a slow blur uh, version of it obviously you want to uh, keep the roughness for things for separate materials different so that they don't it's not a uniform roughness map so i'm setting the plants to have a little bit less roughness Uh, but that's pretty much it for this material. So here is what the uh, render looks like in Mamose 2 back. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, I recommend you subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Do you see this environment right here? I made this really quickly using Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, and Substance Designer, and Unreal Engine. You too can make something like this really easily and in a short period of time. To make an environment like this one, all you have to do is make a few simple props, put them together in Unreal, and then simply add some lights and you're pretty much done. So hey, this is only a 45 second ad, so there's not enough time for me to cover everything. So click on the link below now and I will show you exactly how I made this environment. The best thing about learning how to make an environment like this one is that you can simply use the same techniques to pretty much make any other type of environment. Oh, and by the way, you don't need to be an expert already in order to learn how to make something like this.
you can follow along without any prior knowledge. I will be showing you the basics on how to use Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, Substance Designer and Unreal Engine, so you can follow along without any issue. Like I said, this is a very short video so I don't have enough time to explain everything, so click on that link below and I will show you exactly how this is done. And by the way, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this for, so click on that link now so you don't miss out.